The origin of life is one of the greatest mysteries of science. At the heart of this enigma lies abiogenesis, the process by which life arises from non-living matter. But what exactly does this mean? Abiogenesis refers to the natural process that may have given rise to life on Earth, making it a crucial concept for understanding how we, and all living organisms, came to be. To understand abiogenesis, we must first explore the environment of early Earth, a planet shaped by intense volcanic activity, lightning storms, and a primitive atmosphere, all of which may have been instrumental in creating the first building blocks of life. The journey from non-life to life begins with the formation of organic molecules, the fundamental components of all living organisms. Scientists have discovered that essential molecules like amino acids and nucleic acids could form under the right conditions. The RNA world hypothesis proposes that RNA, a simpler molecule compared to DNA, may have been the first genetic material capable of replication. This theory is supported by groundbreaking experiments like the Miller-Urey experiment, which simulated early Earth's conditions and successfully produced amino acids, offering a glimpse into how life's building blocks could arise naturally. From molecules to cells, the transition is marked by increasing complexity. Simple molecules may have self-assembled into protocells, primitive structures resembling modern cells. These protocells could have been stabilized by membranes, which create compartments and enable the concentration of molecules necessary for biochemical reactions. Such structures are considered vital in the leap from chemistry to biology. Fossil evidence, such as stromatolites, provides a fascinating window into some of Earth's earliest life forms, offering clues about how simple life might have evolved billions of years ago. Despite these advancements, abiogenesis remains a challenging field. Numerous scientific theories attempt to explain how life originated, but each faces its own set of hurdles. For instance, while the RNA world hypothesis offers a plausible starting point, the transition from RNA-based life to DNA-based life is a major unanswered question. Furthermore, finding definitive evidence of abiogenesis is exceptionally difficult, as the earliest traces of life have long since been erased by Earth's geological processes. The search for conclusive proof continues, with scientists exploring Earth's most ancient rocks and conducting experiments in laboratories worldwide. The study of abiogenesis has profound implications for the future. It not only sheds light on our own origins, but also guides the search for extraterrestrial life. If abiogenesis occurred on Earth, could it also happen elsewhere under similar conditions? Additionally, advancements in this field bring us closer to the possibility of creating life in the lab, a prospect that raises both ethical and scientific questions. Despite decades of research, the origin of life remains an enduring mystery, a reminder of the vast unknown that still surrounds us.